Welcome to Country Car, my name's Tom. Here we have a lovely BMW 3 Series. So this is the Touring. I'm going to give you a walk around the car, show a few of the features and the condition. It is in very, very nice condition. The paintwork is excellent, very bright car. Gorgeous sports alloys. This is the diesel. Two litre. It's done just over 100,000 miles. Also, I've driven the car and it just drives very, very well. Privacy glass, split tailgate. So, if opening that electric tailgate is just too strenuous, you can cheat and go through the glass. To so open the tailgate, push there. As I said, it is electric. All weather floor mats there. Netting on your rear load cover and then your rear load cover itself retracts back, locks into place just there. And so there you have your first aid kit. And then underneath, a little bit more storage as well. And in this section, we have the assembly kit just there. So to close the boot, press on there, we'll sort it out for you. Your passengers get treated with their own rear air vents and centre armrest with a couple of cup holders in there as well. Also got a nicer fix on both sides in the rear seats. So it is the automatic. It's keyless start, so you just unlock the car with the key, jump in, put the key in your pocket. To start the car, put your foot on the brake, hold on to the start button for a couple of seconds. Just above that, you've got your start-stop, which means that when you get to the traffic lights, the car will turn itself off to save fuel. Um, if you don't want that to happen, press that button, it will stop it from happening. You've got several driving modes, which is controlled just here, and shows up on here. So you've got your Eco Pro, then you've got your Comfort, your Sport, and if you're daring, Sport Plus, which turns off the traction control. Everything's controlled using this on the media interface. So if we press menu, go onto the main menu there. Got various different features to show you. Service history. A quick readout of the car's health. Your tyre pressures, uh, run flats your oil levels, any alerts that the car has to tell you, Bluetooth, your AM, FM radio, and then you've got in the centre armrest, USB and an auxiliary port. So to put the car into drive, you squeeze with your thumb, there's a little button just here, and pull it all the way down to drive, and away you go. If you'd like to put it to sport mode on the gears, you can knock it over, that's put us in sport and then you can change the gears manually as well if you wish to. You don't have to, you can put it in sport and leave it as an automatic transmission. To park the car, put it in park and then you've got your handbrake there. You've got rear reversing sensors. So that green there is showing that there is an obstacle there but it's quite far away. It'll become amber and red getting closer to the car. You've got a multifunctional steering wheel with cruise control. Part of that is your paddle shift override. You've got automatic uh, windscreen wipers, so pop it there and it'll do the rest for you. Alternatively, on this side, you've got your indicators. If you knock it down once, you can have it to indicate once, or you can put a setting on there for it to do three um, turns. And if you go all the way down, it will keep it on for you as normal and then either go around the corner or to turn it off you do a small click down. There's your lighting system so you can stick it to auto and don't have to worry about it again. Alternatively you've got your front and rear parking centre, um, front and rear fog light sorry. It's angle your beams and that's the lighting adjustment for your dashboard. You've got dual zone air conditioning 
So it looks as though my passenger is a bit warmer than I am. So he's set it to 18, I'm on 28. And obviously you've got the air conditioning. I'd recommend just sticking it on auto and let the car sort itself out. So to flip the bonnet, pull the lever once, that releases it and then again releases the safety catch. I'll let you have a listen, listen to the engine. So the car's had a 160 point check already. Then after sale, I'll go back to the workshop and have another 160 point check. If there's an MOTG, we'd get that organised for you. It's a third party company that does that. We'll give you three months for a thousand mile full parts and labour warranty. You can extend that up to four years. It's 300 or 500 pounds a year depending on the level of cover you wish to take out. Feed our finance, got very competitive rates, give us a call for a quote. And if you've got a part exchange, we'd love to have a look at that, give you a price of it, and give you a price to change. So as I said, my name's Tom. My father's called Kevin, he's the other salesman here. We're located in Barford, which is CV358DS. If this car fits the bill for you, give us a call. Number again, it's 01926 267. 813. Thank you.